entirety of Black Ops 2 Zombies, Transit, Die Rise, Mob of the Dead, Buried, and Origins in 20 effing minutes. Now, I legitimately don't understand how this is even possible to do. Obviously, the, the kind of loading times, the game time isn't really going to change anything. But this video is 23 minutes long. It's 23 minutes long. And at the end of this 23 minutes, every single one of the Easter eggs will be beaten. Obviously, I will have Ultimate Zenith linked down below in the description. Make sure you all go over here, leave a like on this video, subscribe. This video popped off because he absolutely, along with his teammates, deserves it. I'll link the teammate down here at Hatcher as well. Um, but I I guess those are the only two who really upload in the stream everyone else just decides to be a god of zombies in their free time so we're getting his perspective here and we're gonna go ahead and get started on round one of bo3 uh, i was about to say bo2 of bo3 obviously we've got the players building the trample seam i'm gonna be kind of commentating everything that's happening as quickly as possible on this pov because there's gonna be a lot going on behind the scenes that you guys are gonna need to see so some people are you know turning the round getting points opening up the game and stuff like that and he is going to go ahead and start immediately teleporting by using this turbine picking it back up getting the little denizen and his teammate is going to go ahead and do the same thing here so he's going to go ahead and be out here and the reason he's running with his trample or trample steam did i call it the trample steam the first time god i'm stupid uh his his little power energy thing i don't even know if this thing has a name um, the reason with these he's running with it out is you can actually knife and run a slightly faster if you're holding it out So rounds already ended. He's running over here and he's got uh, also reminder that This is the Richtofen side, which is obviously the easier side of this Easter egg So right now what his teammates are doing are they're kind of dispersing out through the map and a reminder in, in Black Ops 2 Each player is actually like picking up and holding one part and you can't really like pick them up for the team and if you go down in the middle of nowhere and you drop your part you just kind of have to go find it it's a really really bad system that they actually updated in bo3 it's it's, it's kind of crazy to me that bo2 had so many like rough around the edges things and bo3 was just such a masterpiece man bo3 is literally just like polished absolutely crazy but as you can see he's running through the fog here there's you know not a lot to see because lol transit but what he is doing here is he's using the fast travel system to get around the map and he's going to go ahead and build this uh big boy his teammates are you know flipping the rounds doing what they need to do uh to go ahead and get uh get the other parts of this easter egg set up but a big part of this easter egg and the reason that it's so much harder to do uh with the lower number of players you have i think it's possible to do i think it's possible to do it's definitely possible to do two i don't know if it's possible to do one player i think someone actually managed to do it one player but by, by basically getting really lucky by getting a max ammo because the part where you need four players for this is you need to throw four emp grenades all pretty much around the same time to do it with you know lower than normal amount of people so obviously he's gonna go to the bank this easter egg literally wouldn't even make sense if you don't use the bank and that was a really cool little turn i don't know why that looked so cool but he's grabbing as much points as he needs for the entire rest of the easter egg shooting out the window because lol why not and uh gonna go ahead and get that part built on it looks like his teammate has already grabbed one of the parts built it on there and uh we've got already already two parts uh already two parts done he's gonna go ahead and buy that stamina up his teammate just hit the bank as well so they got two people loaded up in points and the big thing now is going to be getting what you need out of the box because you know that is that is the the biggest part and they're doing the work top inside which allows which means you need to get the emps out of the box obviously his teammates are <laughs> I didn't even realize there was a zombie head down there. <laughs> Just absolutely demolishing it. Um, again, he's getting these double knives on the denizens before they get on your head. Oh, and then this is probably one of the scariest things right here. Um, jumping across this lava because if you get a denizen on your head during that, you just die and the run is over and then you waste all those points out of the banks. Um, dolphin diving under here and you can see his teammate is already spinning for EMP grenades. They're going to need in literally perfect timing. His first teammate gets EMP grenades and if they don't get EMP grenades quickly here, the run's over. So they're getting a glil, which is great. Not what he wants though. And again, the reason you need two sets of EMPs is you need to throw four EMPs. So he's he's literally just doing the fade away right now, just trying to kill as many zombies as possible. Ray gun, kind of useful, I guess. And he they also have the you notice that little bear sitting on top of the box. There we go. And he's got the EMP grenades on like what was that his third or fourth hit? Absolutely cracked. Absolutely phenomenal. Get EMP grenades that fast. It's the hardest part about this Easter egg. Legitimately, this Easter egg is one of the easiest ever, uh, as, as long as you have those. So. Uh, all they need to do now is they need to finish building the jet guns. They need to get everything set up. They're waiting for the bus to come back over. They've got the power turned on, I believe, now. It's kind of, it's kind of hard to tell because it all looks 
it all looks the same there we go getting on the bus with the boys the bus is not even gonna stop and and what is the, what is the main difference i know i know with maxis you have to turn on the power and then you have to turn back off the power it, it's a weird like half and half thing let's see here the transit guide the jet gun electric traps dr maxis yeah so richtofen all you need to do is you need to have the uh nav gun nav gun machine already built there's a lot of stuff that like carries over like that in this game so they already have the nav card machine built you don't really have to have the nav card in it you just have to have it built uh pretty easy uh and then you have to build the jet gun you have to shoot the jet gun under the tower or uh until it breaks and then richtofen will speak to samuel uh and then you need to kill zombies under the tower with explosive weapons that's right that's what the ray gun is for i forgot that the richtofen side you specifically need explosive weapons which the ray gun counts as an explosion which is why you get 50 points per kill so he's going to be getting this explosion kill with the ray gun which is absolutely correct uh now all four players must get emps which is not true only two players need emps you need to emp basically four light posts to finish off the game that's basically that's basically all you need to finish the easter egg as soon as you emp two light posts at the same time and then they're all four of them are turned off before it gets turned back on you literally win that's it that's it um and Richtofen will talk and then all the the entire thing will just light up and everything like that so uh they are standing under here already he's shooting with the ray gun i assume that they've already yeah it seems like the jet gun's already broken you can see the parts laying on the floor there so all he needs to do now is he just needs to get kills as quickly as possible They're trying to draw as many spawns this is why they were turning the rounds despite even like you know they they have uh what's it called uh they have like unlimited points but the reason they were turning the rounds is that you need to get kills with this uh ray gun until uh until richtofen talks so that's that's why they're turning the rounds because this i'm assuming will end around round like at some point at round five i believe i also love how he's re reloading the ray gun every single time just just for funsies just, just just for funsies now all four players are here they're pulling all the spawns here which means that they, they they know exactly how many i don't know exactly how many kills it is it doesn't say on this little crappy guide i have here um but it's a certain number of kills and they know exactly how many it is so as soon as that happens they're going to be running through and and i'm assuming that it's going to Ooh, does insta kill affect it i don't actually know if insta kill affects it i i mean i mean it's still an explosive kill right it shouldn't make a difference whether it's insta kill or not either way you don't need it it's literally a ray gun on round four uh when the ray gun was actually like kind of decent sorta would you call the ray gun decent back in? i mean it did more damage than all the other guns but would you call it decent it's not a thunder gun we'll say that we'll say that <laughs> so here we go should just be a few more kills I, I think that was it yeah okay so the quote is done quote was heard and then the two guys with emps are now uh are now getting set up and this is uh the most important thing this is already this portal's already opened up he's gonna go ahead and take it i can't see three feet in front and of face. he has the first so now all that needs to happen all that needs to happen oh, is that need to emp two light posts so there's a little bit of randomness here he's waiting for his teammate to get set up and call it out we don't have their discord call but he's gonna throw it jump through the portal it's gonna explode and you back up and you jump through the yeah, portal as well and if done correctly all four uh, got EMP and that was it you see the blue sparks right there you see them shooting off that was it transit literally done in seven minutes which is absolutely wild literally like look at seven minutes seven minutes by the way and just so you guys see that this is a complete continuous video obviously this time doesn't count because it's like based on load times and stuff like that but they're gonna go ahead and get started on die rise and the, the the part that makes it a super easter egg is you get one attempt all these must be back-to-back -back continuous runs so you not only have to get incredibly lucky but you have to play incredibly well and get incredibly lucky that many games in the row so we're on to die rise now which is uh i'd say a little bit more a little bit more uh <laughs> uh involved i'd say let me look up the uh the die rise steps so very first thing they're gonna do is ride the elevator down die rise uh steps i don't have a little spreadsheet thing for this but high maintenance this is the guide that i used when we did the die rise in 2020 or 2021 which year was that uh they're gonna go immediately to the bank which is great because you can just pull all these points out also if you get a bad attempt and someone dies or someone messes up an easter egg step you have to refarm all these points you literally have to you have to refarm every single one of the points which is just absolutely absolutely wild okay so rick top inside first thing you need to do is link the elevators which uh is is not fun i remember this this is not fun you have to stand on top of the top elevators to, uh like 
like symbol and make them all go at the same time which is all luck based because the elevators all are going up and down constantly so the very very first thing you need to do on both easter eggs is you need to link the elevators by standing on top of them after the nav card tables built obviously which they already have so right now they're calling out getting on top of the elevators they're doing this as quickly as possible so <laughs> monka <laughs> <laughs> um and then uh at step number two after this is going to be the floor seals so after they do the floor seals this is it they he needs to make sure he spends as much time as possible did they already link it i think they linked it i think right and then i'm guessing someone else and then uh, they, they ran they ran themselves the all the way over the entire map already and they're gonna have the trample steam built which is required for both both parts of the easter egg like richtofen and uh maxis here and they're gonna be standing on top of these little symbols and i think it, it, it's hard it's hard to tell if they actually did or not oh my god that was why did it seem like he was gonna get squished there uh another thing that you have to do here is wait wait what did, what did he just buy here wait what did he just buy what did you buy, sir? Was this... Oh, he, he was opening the door. Okay. So, uh, waiting for the elevator to go down. He's going to go ahead and purchase who's who. I, I'm actually really curious how who's who helps with the speed run of this Easter egg. Okay. Okay, so you're hearing Maxis go off, but Maxis isn't what they're doing. They're doing all ricked off inside. Uh, I'm guessing there's a different category for Maxis, which is longer because it's Maxis. So they're, they're oh they're learning the order right now. So yeah yeah now they've already done the uh, the linking the elevators. Now they're gonna step on these in the correct order. And whenever they do that, uh, you now you now can do the next step, which is uh, getting the sniper rifle and shooting the uh, shooting the glowing balls. Oh is he? I thought he was gonna go into who's who for something here. Is he, is he trying to get zombies? Oh one of his. One of his teammates just fully fell off the map. I'm guessing that was supposed to happen. I, I'm, I'm really hoping one of his teammates just didn't fall off the map on accident. Hello? Yeah, so the, you see the you see the dragon lighting up over there, which means different steps are going. Now he's gonna do this who's who trick. Whatever it is. I think so. Wait, what? He's gonna go for who's who? Which is going to do? Oh, uh, he's getting the tiles as quickly as possible here. Yeah. He buys Galvanux, and the Galvanux come back with him. At least it ain't as heavy as it looks. Oh my God, that is literally the, he fell there, run over. So he's gonna take a look at the Majong tiles, and I, I guess that's just a way to get back up to the faster yeah. the, to the area faster. So he already has that. There are they already? Are they, are they already doing the trample scene part? Okay, so what just happened in the background that we haven't even seen yet? We haven't even seen this happen in the background. Somebody bought the sniper rifle, shot the ball out of the dragon's mouth, and then sliquefied it. So someone has already built the sliquefier, sliquefied the, the balls in the spawn. That's literally what the step is. You sp spray them until they start spinning. And then once you do that, you build all the trample seams. You put it on the specific zombie symbols. Oh my God! They're literally beating the Easter egg. I don't do it for medals. I do it for the kicks. Oh my God! Wow. Okay. So much went on in the background there. They got all the Majong tiles. They translated them into the correct order that you melee with the Galvan knuckles. He got the Galvan knuckles. They built the four trample seams. They launched the the, 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 the the themselves, I guess, which skipped the zombie killing part, or they just needed to kill a, a certain number of zombies, or someone has been doing it since the beginning. So now they're going into buried already. <sighs> Dog. Zombie players, I, I've said it once before, and I'll say it again. Zombie players are truly built different. Zombie players are actually actually built different all right i'm looking up buried easter egg steps now so i re remember which side is richtofen because there's always it's always annoying all right so step one for richtofen is you need to build the guillotine so the very first thing we're probably going to see here is wow dude i just can't believe that die rise was faster than transit that is so impressive I, obviously with the bank that guy's drawing drawing the chalk there, getting the three thousand points which he's actually there is a jump you can do to do that usually you have to 
Oh my god. I actually love the fact that the bank is like a category for this where you can use the bank because it's just like it's kind of boring ish to like just watch the point grinding part it, it's it's impressive in solo but for co-op it's just like you're just sitting at windows in the spawn grinding points i actually really really like it also again huge shout out to everybody in this speed run not just not just this player because again they have the uh the mystery box perma perk because they you need you need to get the uh the big boy here imtar is good oh he he's gonna slam the box down which means the box won't move so they have a uh, much much more uh Hi, much, much, much higher chance. Regan Mark II, which is going to be great for killing, but don't necessarily need it for the Easter egg. They need the Paralyzer here. S12, also a decent gun. I love how he never looks at the box. He just, he just grabs it. And there's the Paralyzer. So now he needs time bombs as well. And unfortunately, he will have to get rid of. Wow. I mean, that's the power of the Perma Perk, but also getting incredibly lucky. He's going to do some Paralyzer jumps here to get into different areas. I didn't know you could go back up through the tunnels. He's gonna start paralyzing these crystals, which crystallizes them. And you don't wanna break them. You don't wanna break them. Breaking them is what is gonna send them on the max Easter egg part. So right now his teammates are building the guillotine and just finished it. That's why they got the Richthofen quote there. He is now going to paralyze these little things. He still gets to keep the ray gun too. God, the ghost area is so, so scary. All right, so he's gonna paralyze these and that's the third one done i believe that was all four of them or is there four of them so now he's going to go into the ghost area and he's actually going to buy the mp5 i guess maybe the ray gun doesn't work very well against the ghosty ghost i think is that is that why he bought it R Rick Toppin is literally spouting off Easter egg quotes as quickly as possible. Okay, uh, so so there we go. He's going to go ahead and do the next orb here. There we go. Orb is done. Again, you don't want to break the orbs for this side of it. And now the next step is to get the lantern. Yeah, the lantern. Yeah, so Rick Toppin is literally talking about it. Purple lantern will hover over the map. The best place to find the lantern is near the graveyard. Throw a grenade and get it to explode near the lantern. It is important to cook the grenade so it'll explode. Successfully hitting the lantern will make it fall to the floor, in which case you can pick it up. I think one of his teammates might be doing that. Um, so. Departed souls leave residual energy in their wake. This energy. What, what is that? What is wrong with that ghost? He just left. Oh, he's just. Is he just training the ghost? That's so funny. Here comes the lantern. I'm sure okay. Is so he just got the lantern. Lantern is done. He's just gonna knife this ghost as it goes by. Um, and then for so this next step, you need to power the lantern with energy. You, you need to kill a ghost woman to provide energy. To do this, go to the ghost mansion and kill the ghost woman in close, in close proximity to the lantern. Each successful hill, uh, kill, you'll hear a ding sound. Repeat the step five, eight to ten times. So, yeah, you basically you basically just need to fill up the lantern with souls and stuff stuff like that. So. Also, why is this ghost so glitched? He knows all the ghost glitches because he's had to just sit here during this part. Just think of the big ones. Positive or negative. North or south. Light or dark. Good or evil. <laughs> so sorry. I'm being cryptic again. Basically, I'm telling you to go shine its light on stuff. It is probably best that I could develop what you Okay. So he's finally getting out of here. I'm just listening to all of Rick Toffin's quotes. You're literally getting the entire Easter egg story. So he has now uh, done all, they've gotten all the ghosts. They're going to go ahead and do one of the most annoying parts of the Easter egg, which is uh, searching all of the player's body all around the map and, uh, and getting the, uh, what's it called? Found the switch, getting the switch here. So they got the switch. Wait, wait, what, what, what are they searching for? Okay, so they just did, they just did a bunch of steps. Okay, they placed the lantern. They did the cryptic tic tac toe already. They bashed the signs with the uh, with the galvan knuckles uh, with the correct signs, and then they already caught the wisp and went into round infinity. So they actually just did a bunch of steps in the background here, and then they're on using the time bomb and going to round infinity. And you need to search all the maps in the entire area in the entire game and find the switch and then you make your way back to the guillotine and build the switch on the guillotine so they're, they're getting him to uh they're getting what's his name to uh change the power the power up drops i'm not sure which power up drops they they're actually looking for here 
So they got the switch. So they're completely fine. Got a max ammo out of it. Wait. Oh, was the... They, 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 they just got a free max ammo during that after getting the switch. They obviously searched all the things. Got the switch really, really early. Bro, I, I'm like, I'm like forgetting how powerful. And then they have... They, they said another time bomb. So they want... I don't even know the strat at this point. I'm like busy trying to remember all of the uh, Easter egg steps, let alone the strategy. I, like... They just played that another time, Bob, that they're going to use at some point. Maybe for sharpshooter or something? Like, teleport back to that area whenever the time bomb is down? Also, LOL, they're still on round one. He jumps over this. They're going to do the levers. And see which one sparks. Dude, this is, this is absolutely wild. <sighs> this is absolutely wild. So they're, they're, they're doing the guess and check to get the correct order right now. It should be resetting here in a second if they're waiting for it. And the next thing they need to do is break the fountain, which I'm sure they've already broken the fountain with Leroy because you can do that at the very, very beginning of the game rather than later. Oh my God, bro. This is literally insane. So th did they already do the switches? Because literally after they do the switches... Wait, you can boost teammates up and out like that too? Holy crap, dude, what is this map? Buried is one of the coolest maps ever, man. The amount of cool stuff like Easter eggs and whatnot that you can do. Oh, so did they do that to reset the switches? Is that what resets the switches? Oh my God, that's literally what reset the switches. You, you, you all have to leave the, the maze. Dude, this is the one step that like, I think most zombie players just like, Say F it, we're just gonna guess and check it. We go going up and over. God, the paralyzer movement is also so clean. Okay, so they got the step. They knew they got the order from the first time they went in, they went back out, they reset it, and then they immediately click the time bomb to teleport back to where they were and activate the Easter egg step and do sharpshooter now. So literally once they do sharpshooter, it's it's over. Dude, what? And obviously they're not gonna mess up sharpshooter. Like, well, I mean, actually, imagine somebody did mess mess up sharpshooter. Well, they 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 actually know the order of spawns. That's how much. That's how much these guys play this map. They literally know the order of spawns for the sharpshooter step. That's wild. Get the reload in. Honestly, kind of stressful that the reload came out there, but it is what it is. And then this is where they just hope and pray that they did the Easter egg. And they did it. Holy 826. Seven minutes, 45 seconds for transit. Four minutes, 24 seconds for... Oh, well. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I literally, I literally don't know. I don't know what to... Uh, I, don't, I don't know what to say. Truly, truly a magical performance. I... I and pretty like versed in zombies and i remember those maps pretty well and i've beaten these maps hundreds not hundreds i'd like tens of times and i still didn't even keep up with mentally what they were doing on screen truly one of the most important things also i just realized i said that the super easter egg included origins at the end bam probably made fun of me in the entire first half of the video he's probably typing on screen right now he's saying that i'm dumb I hate it here. <laughs>